Hello! Today I am working on a swap. It's for paper art swaps and what we're making is Rachel's Craft Organizer by Christian, Christian's Crafty Adventures. She did a video on this. I don't know if she's the one who originated it, but I'll link her video because that's what we were given to base our measurements and everything off of. What I already did was cut out all the boxes. What you do is make a bunch of these little boxes and then there's a base box and it has a drawer. And you just, pretty clever. I made one of these for my husband to take to work. So now I'm making one for my partner. So I've already made the bases because we were we were told we could make it in any theme we wanted. But I wanted my partner to choose since, you know, it's going to be on her space, not mine. So she said she liked bright colors. So I used Lawn Fawn 6x6 six six inch petite paper pack with called Perfectly Plaid. And then I used a couple of, triple of, three Bella Boulevard papers, flowers, polka dots, and hot air balloons. This is Bella Boulevard's Let's Go On an Adventure. Funny thing, these little notebooks that I bought the other day, if you can hear that, that's a jet. Sorry. The notebooks I bought the other day and hauled. They match this stuff. So I'm gonna just decorate the cover and then slip it in one of the spaces. Also another thing you need, this is like, I used more than 100 pound cardstock. Card I found that watercolor paper is heavier and it's easy to use. But you gotta go to Dollar Tree and get one of these calendars where you can take the little dinky one out and stick it on the front. You don't have to, but you know. See how you can just remove it. Maybe I should cut it. No, good enough. Here we go. Took it off. So also, I was going to use you know these little dresser things you can get from Dollar Tree and they have these little pulls on them? I was going to use that for my drawer pull, but then I decided I have these flat heart or flat bow things. I have three different colors. Probably will use this one because I think it's the cute, cutest. So what I'm going to do is use Barely Arts glue. Because I have a lot of it left. I also like to use um, the reptile adhesive. Is that what it's called? Yeah. But I have less of that than Barely Arts. And it's too cold to get these things shipped. So I'm just going to add adhesive. Take the piece I already cut. And stick it on there. You'll see that I'm going to make this front one wider than the ones that go on the sides. Because I want to. So there's one. That one's plaid. This one I'm going to use the little flowers. I also noticed the front and the back, the very back, you can put the paper all the way on it. But I wanted, since you connect these pieces together, I wanted to use just a small decorative piece and connect them on the original paper that I used. 
the neutral off light so that it would stick directly to the boxes. See that, how I left a little border? Yeah. If you don't put enough glue, you have issues. Let me kind of hold it down. I'll do the sides. What's your favorite adhesive? Especially since I can't get some of these right now because it's too cold for them to ship. What do you use? Tacky glue? What else do you find works good with paper crafts that I could just go to Michael's, Hobby Lobby, Walmart, anywhere and buy? Because I'm sure not everybody wants to order online also. I know some people are anti certain stores. So what do you use and where do you get it? So I know I'll take the bigger one of these pieces that I cut and line it up. This one's blue and green plaid. This perfectly plaid paper. I used it a lot last year in swaps. I think it's cute and it's hard to get. Apparently I found one more pack of the little bitty ones. Pretty sure I have a couple of big ones. Not whole packs, just individual sheets stashed away for a rainy day. And then all these pieces for the sides are the same. I honestly can't tell you why I have three. I don't know what I was thinking. Hmm. Probably could match up the lines. Should I do that one? matching lines. And then next we have throw this away. Pink polka dots. That's the side I'm gonna use. me glue. Let's move this. That's what I use to pencil in my Fiskars trimmer to get it straight. Cut pieces. Two more, the base and the back. So the very back, the big sheet, obviously. Let's squeeze, Okay. 
gotta if you have directional paper you gotta make sure it's facing the right way because let's face be serious upside down um balloons would be kind of funny uh-oh where's the other one i have to find it things tend to run away i'm kind of a messy crafter Do you think this is bright enough? Doesn't look like I cut this one. Oh no, inside they're stuck. Look, there we go. Clouds. I don't like how this one's cut. Fortunately, there's lines in the back, so I'll just use a pair of scissors and follow. I was supposed to be somewhere else right now, but there is an issue, so I'm not. I will be there next week. But this just gives me an opportunity to get some swaps done that I wasn't all the way done, because usually I am all the way done. So this is the base that the drawer goes in, and I'm doing blue plaid. You know, I put a bead on the needle so I can find it because it gets lost. There we go. Covering the sides, not the bottom or the top because the bottom is the bottom and the top is going to have all of those pieces glued on it. One more. I am going to switch glues in just a minute. bottom this is the back see that looks good together so I need to glue the bottom be generous I think line it up and set it on there and then I'm going to use a marker to press down on the inside since I can't stick my hand in there without making it go out of shape. And then I'm going to glue the back. This is when this little teeny tiny nozzle does not come in handy. And then the bottom. Oh, let me tell you something that's cool. So, you know, my Instagram is five, six, seven, eight. What's going on? 
And it's five, six, seven, eight, because my daughter dances. That's usually where I'm waiting for her. One of her schools is for dance. But she got into a program for the summer, all well, for a large part of it, that she tried out for. Now, we're not sure she's 100% going. I hope so. It's up to her. But, yay her, right? Here's another one. Intercepts. And then one more. The base. The blue. The back. Try to get it so that it'll smush, squish out. And over the edges and put it on there. I don't know what I did, but it doesn't line perfectly up with the front. That would be a measurement. But it's okay. That's how I'm done. It's gonna look on purpose. Ones I can stick my hand in. Okay. So I'm going to shove the drawer in, but not all the way. Hmm. Do you think I should make it on the sides of this too? How about let's do that. So then we're going to line up the paper. That's pretty cool that there's lines because then I don't have to really look side where I want it. Line it up in my trimmer. Too many orange lines. Can't keep them straight. There we go. And then this one will do. It needs a little bit shaved off. You know what? I'm gonna use scissors. The thing I think is cool about this is a lot of these um, larger paper craft projects, you have to have a um, machine like a Cricut. Or something. This one you don't. You just measure. I also happen to think Christian is funny, so I like to watch her. So you're gonna watch a long tutorial. The person may as well be entertaining. I think she has a good personality. Knocking stuff down. That's gonna have to dry before I shove that in there. And then, to stick on this bow, right, I'll find the center and I'll hot glue it. So meanwhile, we're gonna let this dry. There. 
Then we were to add notebooks and stuff. And I happen to have some traveler's notebooks. This is just craft paper colored and blank. And this one's craft paper colored and squares. So we need to cover it. Let's put this back in here. So I saved these papers. And all I'm going to do is see if it fits before I cut out. Open it. Yay, it's one good. I'm not going to wrap it. I'm going to mark it. We'll find out if that's a bad idea. In just one minute. Okay, where's the mark? Don't you love it? Oh, there's one. When you mark something and then you can't find the mark. Cut it all the way across. And then this mark is located. I don't know. Oh, first let's cut this tab off. Bella Boulevard. Didn't I say that? Let's go on an adventure. Oops, I'm gonna set that off. Cut a little bit more. Okay, where is the mark? If I can't find it, just remake it. Down there. I see it. I see it right there. Yay. I'm going to wrap it first and see what happens. Oh. Now we know that was a bad idea. Because we're short. Somebody was probably yelling at the screen going, don't do that. Navasha, it's not going to work. You know, if I remembered how to make book covers for Remember, if you were my age, I'll age myself right now. You made book covers for your books at school. You know what I could do? Add a strip like it's on purpose. I will. Let's see. That's ugly. Well, no, it's not ugly. It's just not what I want to do. Wait a minute. Hmm. Since it's craft paper, I'm going to go ahead and stick it on. But I'm going to use a tape runner. And I think I'm gonna washi it. Probably don't need to use this much. But guess what? Once again, I do what I want. But one of my good friends says, it makes me laugh. Yeah, this side's just a little bit short. Make it the front and put. Oh, I have something. So, there's new cocoa and reno dyes that are like borders. I'm going to cut out pink and put it all the way around the edge. That'll solve this problem. At least you won't see everything that gets done today. My partner. 
So this one, we're gonna just add a little bit then. Cause we can trim it. We're not using this Argyle side. We're using the little flower. paper so I don't waste it. It's going to be cut at the bottom. So I'm going to have to think of something to put on it too. Let's see. What can I put on a little bitty cut? A rosette. That would be cute. A little bitty rosette. Good idea. I'll make a rosette. Lining up the edge, I'm sorry. Out of frame, probably haven't been this whole time because it's further away from me. I like these things. And let me tell you, I have an uh, ATG gun and that thing I like to use it, but I don't like to refill it. Oh, that was a mistake. Oh no. Look at that. My real life. We can put words. Yeah. It's upside down. Maybe. I can die cut out something. Or do that. Look at that. See what happens when you refuse to give in and give up. Because in my opinion, besides um, regular crafting, when you have a precise plan, sometimes crap happens and you need to be creative in how you fix it. And I'm sure, ooh, that's it for this. Some of you are saying, well, if you did it right in the first place, you wouldn't have that issue. And I say, sure. But for me, I don't have the type of patience needed to craft the way a lot of people do. I hmm, guess it's glue because I can't. Hold on. Okay, so I paused so I could glue the rest of it together and embellish. And this is what I came up with. I put the little drawer pull on the front. It is a the little bow. I chose the dark pink. Inside the drawer, I put assorted paper clips. Then all around the sides, if you can see this trim, it's from Coco and Reno's last, which was February 2022 set. And I used this die 
and also this die. And put that around the edge where they met. And then in the front, I glued the calendar and put on the lip a little um, trim, one of those Coco and Reno trims. Let's move this paper out of the way. Obviously, I glued it all together using the Barely Arts glue. And then in the pocket, so far I have the three notebooks that I got the other day I hauled. It says notes, dreams, and lists. And what I thought was cool is on the inside, this is the bullet journal style. This is blank. This is lined. But they have little cutesy things like a little pocket edge and triangles. And this one has... open stars and this one has stripes so I'm going to put those in we were to add pieces of paper so I just cut up some of the leftover ones with a little bow paper clip and stuck them together I am going to check to make sure I have everything properly done because there are certain things you need to include with each swap these are the two Traveler's notebook, notebooks that I made, inserts that I made, enjoy today with the trim from the Coco and Reno, and this one just says smile, because I thought the edge wasn't so bad, it just looks on purpose. And that's it, I think it's cute, what do you think? Thanks for watching! Let me know what's going on with you today.